Hello and a very warm welcome to Megan and Harry News YouTube channel. Hi, I'm Alex and I hope all is well with you and you're in a good mood today. Articles accusing Meghan and Harry of this and that are flying out all over the place. The media campaign against them has never been so obvious and it's going nowhere. There is nothing they can do about the record-breaking documentary and record-breaking book that people are watching and buying in their droves. The truth has finally come out and there are so many stories being pushed around in order to counteract that and some are increasingly ridiculous and are quite amusing in how desperate they have become. And then I saw this story about brainwashing and it's the complete opposite of what is going on. Former Princess Diana bodyguard thinks Prince Harry is brainwashed by Meghan Markle. This bodyguard called Ken Wharf has made numerous appearances in interviews just like former butler Paul Burrell. He is of course pro-monarchy, if he wasn't he wouldn't get interviewed in the media and therefore he wouldn't get paid. The title of this one is Former Princess Diana Bodyguard thinks Prince Harry is brainwashed by Meghan Markle. This version of what allegedly happened has been floated on Sky News in the UK. This seriously deluded media are attempting to push a theory that once again Meghan is behind all of this and that she has brainwashed Harry. In England, even more serious media outlets such as Sky News or the BBC have already presented evidence that Meghan Markle has been planning this all along. They are convinced that Prince Harry has brain been brainwashed by his wife in an effort to dismantle the royal family completely. It states that former Royal Protection Officer Ken Wharf spoke to Sky about the suspicions he has about Meghan Markle and how Prince Harry might be victim of a terrible manipulation. Speaking to Sky News Australia, the former bodyguard was asked point blank if he believes Meghan Markle is manipulating or brainwashing Prince Harry. This is what he responded with. When you look at the wedding and the public events that followed in Nottingham and London, you can tell that she is a consummate performer and a consummate actress publicly. You can see the look on Harry's eyes as he thinks she is amazing, but where did it all fall apart? Whether he is completely under her control or not, I can't say that in all honesty. It seems to me that something is not quite right in that relationship. Now, it's the media whose attempt to brainwash the public. Look at all the expense and articles and interviews and absolute made up nonsense they have created over the last three years in order to frame Meghan and Harry in a negative light. And this smear campaign isn't something that is being done here and there. It's an every day of the week coverage for years every day putting out reports in a multitude of different tabloids, social media platforms and YouTube videos, accusing them of doing this or that. It's never ending, that is the actual brainwashing, the brainwashing of the public with this constant negative media coverage, which Meghan and Harry pointed to clearly in their Netflix documentary and in Harry's book and interviews. And if you look at the royal family and someone like Kate Middleton, who many have said seems to be very robotic and never says anything, who has been trained to sit in the right way, who is told what to wear, who has guidelines of what they can do, where they can go, who are, n are not allowed to speak their opinion. If anyone is brainwashed, then it's members of the royal family like Kate Middleton, who are literally told what to do every day, who obey a strict set of rules. They are indoctrinated by the establishment. That is signs of indoctrination or brainwashing, Brainwashing is usually done by an institution or organisation. While on the other side, Meghan and Harry have broken free from this institution and are telling people about all the rules and regulations and dirty games and how they were trapped and how they were told what they can wear, whether or not Harry can have a beard at his wedding, etc, etc. They have broken free and are telling people about the institution and its controlling ways. And yet here we get members of the institution claiming it is the rebels, the ones speaking out. They are claiming it is them that are brainwashed. No, it is the media that is attempting to brainwash the public with these ridiculous stories and it is the members of the establishment and their ridiculous service and following of rules which are the more likely symptoms of indoctrination. Please leave a comment so we can hear your opinion and I'll see you in the next video.